Number five, to use the power to make treaties with other nations. But treaties must be ratified by a two-thirds majority of the Senate. Number six, to use the power to appoint executive branch officials, ambassadors, Supreme Court justices, and other federal judges. But we must have the advice and consent of the Senate to make these appointments. Number seven, to report periodically to Congress on the state of the nation. Number eight, to recommend legislation to Congress. And number nine, to serve as the chief foreign policy maker for the nation. These are all of the powers that the Constitution gives the president. The Constitution does not sanction an imperial presidency. The president has no constitutional authority to impose a policy without congressional action. The president is to execute or implement the laws passed by Congress, not establish new policies himself. You may be thinking, there's no way that Congress can make all the laws necessary for the nation and properly administer all of the current federal activities. You are surely right, and our founding fathers never intended them to do so. Our 